Hi everyone, my name is Miss Gatta, and today we are going to be doing some very fun activities, including a salad bowl, and we're gonna be reading a story. We're gonna be reading the first chapter of Junie B. Jones, first grader at last. So we have a lot of excitement in for us today. I wanna to start with an activity. It's called a salad toss. Can anyone think what that means? What does salad toss mean? That's right. We're gonna be putting a bunch of things that go in a salad and mixing it together. We're gonna to be tossing a salad. And what kind of game do you think you wanna play with this salad toss? Oh, that's a very good answer. Maybe we'll be playing that today. Let's find out. All right, let's start with the first item in our salad bowl. Can anyone tell me what this is? That's right, class, it's a pepper. Can everyone repeat pepper? We are going to fill up our bowls with a pepper. So let's clap out pepper. Pepper. How many sounds did you hear? That's right, two. So now I'm gonna say pepper, and you're gonna say pepper. Now let's all do it together. Pepper. And let's put it together and put it in our bowl. Ready? Pepper goes in the bowl. Good job. Our next vegetable that we have is celery. Can everyone say celery? Good job. So let's clap that one out. Celery. Right? Now I'm going to clap it. Celery. Now you're going to clap it. Good job. Now let's all do it together this time. Celery. Great. We're going to add this to our bowl. How many sounds did you hear from that word? Good job, there was three claps. Great, and how many were in this one? That's right, two for pepper, and now we have celery. Good job, guys. What's our next one gonna be? What do you think? Let's find out. It is a Carrot. Can everyone say carrot? Good job. Let's clap it out. Carrot. Great. Now I'm going to do it. Carrot. You're going to do it. Great job. Now let's all do it together. Carrot. Great. And what word does that make? Carrot. Good job, guys. So let's put our carrot in our salad bowl. The last thing that goes into our salad bowl, what can you guess the last ingredient of our salad is gonna be? That's a very good answer. Let's find out what it's gonna be. Lettuce. Can everyone say lettuce? Great, let's clap it out. Lettuce. Now I'm gonna do it, let this. You're gonna do it, let this. Great, now let's all do it, let this. Good job. So how many sounds did you hear with lettuce? Good, two claps. So two claps for lettuce is going in the bowl. Now let's review what all we added to our bowl. What was this? Great, a pepper. Let's clap it out one more time. Pepper. How many claps did you hear again? Two. Good job. What was this? Celery. Great. Now let's clap it out. Celery. How many claps did you hear there? Three. Great. And the last one was carrot. Great job. Let's clap that one out, carrot. And we heard two there. And our final ingredient was lettuce, lettuce. 
How many did you hear? Two. Great. And what was our biggest one? Which one had the most amount of claps? That's right, the celery did. Great job, guys. That was a great activity. I'm proud of all of you. All right, I hope everyone found a comfy seat because we're going to start reading. Junie B. Jones, first grader at last. We're just going to be reading chapter one today. So here's Junie B sitting at her desk. Looks like she's about to write something. What emotion is on her face? Good, she looks focused. She looks like she's thinking. Good job, great ideas. So the title of this chapter is First Grade Surprises. What do you expect this chapter to be about then? If that's our title, First Grade Surprises. That's a great idea. Let's find out. Thursday. Dear First Grade Journal, Yesterday was the first day of school. It is new here. Today my teacher handed out these journals. He is making us write in these dumb things. Only I don't even know what to write. My teacher has muscles and a mustache. His name is Mr. Scary. He made up that name, I believe. I am not even scared of him, hardly. From Junie B, first grader. So what is that she just wrote right there? That's right, a journal. And can anyone tell me what a journal is? Great job. It's something that you write your feelings, or if a teacher gives you something to write, you write that in there. Good job, guys. I put down my pencil and I looked at what I wrote. I did a sigh. I would like to go home now. I said to myself, shh, said the girl named May. I'm still trying to do my work. There's Mr. Scary. Does he look scary to you? Looks scary to me. <laughs> May sits next to me in the back of the room. I did not actually care for that girl. Just then, my teacher stood up at his desk. His mustache smiled real friendly. Okay, boys and girls, you can stop writing now, he said. As I told you earlier, we will be working in our journals quite often this year. In fact, it won't be long until your journal starts feeling like an old friend. I rolled my eyes at the ceiling. What kind of an old friend looks like a dumb notebook, I said. Shh said May. You shouldn't talk while the teacher is talking, Junie Jones. I looked at her real annoyed. B, I said. My name is Junie B. I think I have mentioned that to you before, May. I leaned closer to her face. B, 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 I said. After that, I slumped in my seat. What does the word slumped mean? That's right. It means to go like this and slouch down in your chair. So you're just going to be like, not up, but more down and timid. And I put my head on my desk. I peeked at the other children who sit near me. Their names are Herb and Lenny and Jose. I do not know them from a hole in the ground. I did another sigh. First grade is not what it's cracked up to be. My room is named room one. I was nervous when I came here yesterday. That's how come Daddy had to carry me all the way to the room because my legs felt like squishy jelly. So what was that sentence right there? Because my legs felt like squishy jelly. That's right. It's a simile. So she's comparing her legs to squishy jelly. She's saying that they were loose and wobbly and she couldn't even walk because she was so nervous. He put me down outside the door. Well, here we are, Junie B, he said, first grade at last. My stomach had butterflies in it. Also, my arms had prickly goosebumps, and my forehead had drops of sweaty. I am a wreck, I said. Daddy smiled very nice. There's nothing to worry about, Junie B, I promise, he said. You're going to love first grade. Just think, there's a whole room full of brand new friends just waiting to meet you. He ruffled my hair. Are you ready to go in now? He asked. 
Hmm, are you ready to begin your first grade adventure? I looked at him a real long time. Then I quick spun around, and I zoomed down the hall as fast as I could. Daddy zoomed after me. He caught up with my speed quickly, and he carried me back to my class. Only this time, he carried me straight into the room. As soon as he put me down again, I hid behind his legs. Because that place was a zoo, I tell you. There were people everywhere. There were girls and boys and mothers and daddies and grandmas and grandpas. Plus, also, there were drooly babies in their strollers. Then, all of a sudden, my whole mouth came open. Because, good news, I finally saw someone I knew. I jumped up and down and around all around. Daddy, Daddy, it's Lucille, I hollered. Remember Lucille? Lucille was my bestest friend from kindergarten last year. Do any of you have a best friend from kindergarten that you remember? That's so cool. I do too, and I miss her every day. Lucille was standing at a desk next to the window. I ran to her in a jiffy. Then I hugged and hugged that girl, and I couldn't even stop. Lucille, Lucille, it's me, it's me, it's your bestest friend from kindergarten, Junie B. Jones. I tried to pick her up. I'm so glad to see you, friend, I shouted real joyful. Lucille pulled my arms off her. Stop it, Junie B., stop it, she said. Oh no, I wonder what's going to happen next. I guess we're going to have to find out next time. Can't wait to see you guys then.